How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Die Hard Fishing Shorts channel. Um, today is going to be a little bit of vlog kind of style video. I don't really know what to call it, but we're going to be looking at some king salmon in the southern bay area. So traditionally, if you know anything about king or chinook salmon, um, they range everywhere from California up to Alaska. Um, but the southernmost border, at least the main runs or the main rivers that they go up, the southernmost river is the Sacramento River, which is a big river that eventually feeds into the San Francisco Bay. Um, however, I didn't even know this until recently, there's also some king or chinook salmon that go into the southern portion of the San Francisco Bay. Um, and there's a bunch of different creeks that eventually feed into the San Francisco Bay. A lot of them are really small. None of them are as big as the Sacramento River, not even close. Um, but, and this is all news to me as of, you know, not too long ago, there's enough water for some king salmon to come up these little creeks and come up and spawn. So long time ago, way before I was even alive, I think it was probably legal to come out here and fish these salmon because there's probably more fish and, you know, just wasn't as many regulations back then when it comes to fishing. Um, but now all the fishing is illegal because the populations are so low. And they're so low that me, I've been fishing my whole life. I didn't even know that the fish were here until this year. So I've come out here to come and see them. If you live in the Bay Area, we just got, you know, a couple of big rains recently. So it's pushed some of these fish up into these little creeks. And we're gonna hope to get some footage to show you guys today. So the water's a little bit dirtier than I would have hoped. So it's a little bit harder to see the fish. Um, but regardless, we'll get some footage nonetheless and show you guys. So if you're familiar with me, I do a lot of fishing out in the ocean and one of my more favorite fish to target out in the ocean is these exact King Chinook salmon. And little did I know that they come within miles of my own doorstep, right, right outside my home. Um, and I just think that's cool that these fish are coming up here. And we'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video, but let's just roll the footage of these actual fish coming up into these rivers. Really quickly, before we get things started, just want to point out there's going to be a couple of different types of fish species that you'll see in this video. Um, in this clip right here, there's two of them. The king salmon or the chinook salmon or the little bit skinnier, more agile fish. It's on the left side of the screen right now. The other fish, the fatter, kind of slower moving fish, that's a common carp. So you'll see a lot of carp in this video. Sometimes they just hang out in big schools just kind of sitting in the more stagnant water. The king salmon are the ones that are always moving. They're never sitting in one place. Usually you can find them in the more running water, the water that's faster flowing because they like the current. And in addition to that, if you look really closely, you might see a few largemouth bass mixed in. So anyways, enjoy the video.
So another quick note on this little clip here. There's three salmon in this clip. You can see them all swimming kind of in the middle of the screen here. And I believe the one on the far left top corner, I believe that's another carp. But as far as the salmon goes, I believe we have two males and one female in the mix here. So if you see the one kind of swimming by itself down on the bottom there, that one to me looks a little bit fatter and which tells me that that one's a female. And then the other two that are kind of chasing each other around, I believe those two are males. So what the salmon will do is once there's two males, they're kind of fighting to uh, spawn basically with that female. So each salmon will basically claim a, ma a female. Each male salmon will claim a female and then basically ward off other males to make sure that those fish don't breed with that female that they've quote unquote claimed. So I believe that's what's happening in this little clip. One gentle reminder just want to remind everyone this is normally a fishing channel just want to remind you that there are no fishing there is no fishing allowed in any of these little south bay creeks out here so as tempting as it is to see these salmon up close and personal please refrain from throwing any spinners out there i saw one salmon out here with a spinner in its mouth so someone has been out here poaching and i hope it wasn't any of you guys you can see right here no fishing so please I know it's tempting to throw a line in, but let's keep these fish nice and healthy. So hopefully one day, maybe there'll be a sustainable population and maybe we'll be able to come out here and fish them. But for now, if you want to capture a fish, capture it on the camera, not with their hook and line. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you know me and you watch our main channel, filming is not one of my strong points. And um, yeah, I'm just basically a fisherman who brings along a camera. But this video in particular was really fun to film. I love seeing these salmon up in these creeks. So if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. And if this video does well, um, I know it's just the beginning of the salmon run here in the South Bay. If history repeats itself, they should be hitting more creeks here as we get more rain. Um, and I'd be happy to film another one if you guys are interested. And in addition, if you guys are interested in helping out these salmon in any way, um, one way that one thing that I've done is I've actually did a trash cleanup on one of these creeks here through um, an agency called the South Bay Clean Creeks Coalition. I think is what it's called. Anyways, I'll leave it linked in the description. They hold trash cleanups along these creeks, you know, almost every week. I was thinking about filming when I did it, but unfortunately I couldn't just for privacy reasons. Um, but maybe in the future someday, I don't know. I was brainstorming ideas with the um, organizer of the event. Maybe in the future someday I could hold a group cleanup day. Have some fun, pick up some trash, and maybe we'll see a salmon or two. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.